So uh, Bruce Pritchard has been named interim head of talent relations of WWE as John Laurinaitis had been placed on administrative leave. PW Insider reported WWE issued a memo to talent, which is funny, actually, because you know who usually issues those memos to talent? John Laurinaitis. I don't think that he signed this one. Uh, they issued a memo to talent. Pritchard is a new head of talent relations going forward, quote, pending the conclusion of WWE's board of directors internal investigation. Laurinaitis has been placed on administrative leave. The memo additionally promises Pritchard would provide a, quote, seamless transition. I wonder what Pritchard would say if you asked him about that. Laurinaitis was not backstage at Raw. They're, uh, him and Vince under investigation by the board over a $3 million hush money agreement by a former employee who allegedly had a sexual relationship with both men. McMahon voluntarily stepped down as CEO and chairman. I'm sure it was voluntary. Uh, while the investigation takes place, Stephanie's been named interim CEO and chairwoman, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the point I made last night, which I can't help but uh, uh, repeat here on the show, and I hate repeating my material, but it, it ties into uh, ties into SmackDown, actually, where uh, we had SummerSlam coming up. And SummerSlam was supposed to be Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton, by the way, who has been there for 20-something years. We just celebrated his 20th year. He was going to headline SummerSlam for the uh, title. So uh, it's going to be Randy Orton uh, versus Roman Reigns. Randy Orton needs back surgery. And so uh, as a result, they did this uh, Matt Riddle match on SmackDown, which we can talk about later. And uh, and Roman Reigns won. Riddle can now not get another shot as long as Roman Reigns is champion. And since Randy Orton is out, well, who do we have to replace Randy Orton in a match with Roman Reigns at SummerSlam? Hmm. Well, uh, what preparations have we done? Who do we have ready? Well, there's Drew McIntyre, but he's already going to be at the uh, Castle show, the Clash at the Castle or whatever. So uh, with him, let's see, we got, uh, hmm, uh, well, God damn, we got to go back to Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the seventh time on a major WWE pay-per-view because we have nobody ready. Well, this reminds me of when Vince McMahon stepped down as chairman and CEO well, who do we have to replace Vince McMahon? Hmm. Who do we got ready to step in as chairman and CEO? If something were to happen to Vince McMahon. Uh, let's see. Not Triple H. He's out of the picture. Um, you know what? Let's go with Stephanie, who we just buried in a nationally published article. Uh, that's a great person. We, we got a lot of, we really prepared for the, uh, you know, world beyond Vince. Let's bring back Stephanie. Now John Laurinaitis has to step away. Who do we have to step in as the head of talent relations? Well, uh, yeah, we fired that Corano guy. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Bruce Pritchard is now the head of talent relations. This company has zero ability to prepare for the future. They got nobody ready for anything. They got nobody ready for Laurinaitis to replace him. They got nobody ready to replace Vince McMahon. They got nobody ready to replace Roman Reigns. They got nothing except to go back to the same old, same old. So anyway, that to me is a takeaway from this Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Pritchard story. They just got nobody. They got nobody for any position. It's incredible. If anybody was listening to you right now that was a stockholder, you know, that would that would sound like a forward-looking thing that they would have problems, except anybody that's a stockholder, at least of major value and holds a major amount of stock, they seemingly don't care about any of that, Brian. And here's the thing with Vince. You can't actually replace him right now. Stephanie has right now because that's what he wants, the same way he wants Bruce Pritchard to assume Johnny Ace's role in the interim because he's comfortable with those people. But we have seen where Nick Khan and there are legitimate people on that board who have run legitimate industries that, you know, in theory can take over the corporate reins of that company. So you're right, you know, that they don't have people stacked. But in theory, 
there's the shakeup there. There there could be people in those positions. Those are corporate filled positions. Creatively, creatively, that's a little bit of a different story. No Charlotte, now no Cody, no Sasha, no Randy Orton. You have nobody else. You go back to either who. It's either Lashley or it's McIntyre. Those two guys are tied up right now. Or it's Brock Lesnar. And as soon as the news came out about Randy Orton, it was just a matter of time. And they went and pulled that trigger on Friday. And that whole show worked for Vince, you know, with him starting it off. And then ultimately that getting the number that it did at the end and getting the retention that it did. Roman Reigns is a star. Brock Lesnar is about the only other star that you have. Let's see if they can ride that number and ride any excitement they can out of that. But for a lot of people, it is... It's better than a lot of other options, but man, you've seen this thing so many times. How exactly are you going to make this new? You know, maybe it'd be a good time to work on uh, grooming somebody to take over creative because, man, if something actually happened to Vince, like we replace Vince with a with a figurehead chairman and CEO, uh, which, by the way, somebody oh, asked Brian. me, remember when they had that, yeah. uh, hold on, remember when they had that Iron Man match with the women? And, uh, you know, instead of calling it a, a Iron Woman match, they called it the Women's Iron Man match. Is she yes. the chairwoman or is she the women's chairman? I think that we need to get that clear. But anyway, so uh, she woman. is now in this this figurehead position, a figurehead position as the uh, chair, the women's chairman and uh, CEO of this company. Uh, uh-huh. But Vince is still doing all of his Vince stuff. So, yes. like, if something happened, if Vince went to the moon... Uh, who is uh, Jeff Jarrett? Uh, Bruce Pritchard? Are we going to bring back Eric Bischoff? Is Paul Heyman going to get a chance without Vince screwing everything up for him? Like, who well, do we have well, if something on, went down tomorrow? It depends on who lobbies best to whose ear. Because if there is a shakeup like that, obviously Kevin Dunn, Bruce Pritchard, that old guard is going to want to have some say. How strong is Triple H and any allegiances he has? Shawn Michaels, who's with him? Adam Pierce, is he related with someone? Because he could be a good booker or working as an assistant at J.J. Dillon to somebody's Dusty. You know what I mean? As an assistant. So where does he lie? There are people that can take the throne. It's just going to be a matter of who's in charge because if it's Stephanie, she may tend to rely maybe on the old guard but probably at her on her husband and whoever's actually you know affiliated with him that's who maybe who gets those those roles this was the best thing on the show and uh the show was all downhill from there so uh i guess i can continue on to uh dana brooke beat becky lynch And that, my friends, is Monday Night Raw. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.